part two coming at you right now. Part one, we did the back and the front of the head in terms of this little white command module thing, which I still don't know really what to call it, and kind of the shape of his head. So I'm going to add on the yellow now because I think that's the next logical step. So this is going to give us some depth to the front of this face because we have to kind of add his muzzle and stuff. First, though, I want to add the yellow in his ears and the yellow off of his little kind of the top of this area. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So, we're going to make pretty much the same shape that we did for these ears. In fact, we're probably going to do that the same size maybe because there's not a whole lot of, um, I guess... Um, brown area on the inside of the ears. Kind of like if you look, guys look at Sonic, he has that little, you know, the peach inside of his ears, but he has blue around it. But for this Fox artwork I'm using, he really doesn't. It's kind of all just one color. So you can probably make it just as big, but you want to make it a lot thinner than how he made the ears because we're going to have to put these in the ears. And we don't want that kind of depth factor that we all forget about, you know, to kind of show that, you know, wow, this yellow is sticking, you know, a couple centimeters out from the ear and that would look really weird so just make that and stick it in the ear all the way up to the point and you want to make sure that it's kind of cut off at an angle right here because it doesn't go it, could, it doesn't go farther than the white of this little part of his command module thing yes that's the name I've given it because I really don't know what else to call it just like I had problems with Sonic's anatomy, having trouble with Fox's gadgets, so yeah. That looks good like that. We'll do it again to the other side. Same way as we just did with that yellow one, same way as we made the sails. Or you can just kind of look at what I'm doing in the camera. Like that. Hopefully you don't have too much kind of overbleed at the top or whatever. You want to make sure that uh, it doesn't really extend much farther than, you know, the brown from looking at the back side. And then make sure it doesn't go past this white mark. And there we go. There is the beginning detailing for Fox. We're going to add on that little triangle at the top now, which is really easy, really easy way to make a triangle. Pretty much roll it flat, pinch it at one end, push down with your finger, it's three-dimensional, and just flatten it out and point it again. Keep doing that, and bam, you got a two-dimensional triangle, which will put a little bit farther than the yellow of these ears, again, just a little bit farther. But kind of like that, making sure it's not sticking too far out. This one might be sticking slightly too far out, but I'm going to leave it because I kind of don't want to don't want to mess with it too much. But there's that. Now we're going to move on to I got to reposition myself the muzzle. So this might not be as hard as I'm kind of anticipating it to be. I'm going to sculpt this I guess kind of like we did for this triangle up here, really. It's going to be a three-dimensional triangle, really. And we're just kind of going to smooth out the edges a little bit more. So, you got your clay. Maybe it's a little too much clay. And we're going to roll it, kind of, I guess, into a long shape. And then we're going to pinch from both ends and kind of push out like that. We're going to flatten, extend these two ends, and, I mean, just kind of work with it, push flat, and, I mean, there, there we go. There's the muzzle, or at least our start of a muzzle. Again, it might be a little too big, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show, I guess, I guess the fact that I showed it a little bit bigger isn't too bad, just easier to see. But, again, we can just take some clay off and kind of do the same thing. You just got to work with it. Making sure, though, that you have an equal number, or not equal number, but um, equal amount of clay on this side and that side. Because it would be really weird if, you know, 
the center point of the muzzle was was over to one side more so than the other. That would be kind of weird. And then simply we're going to just kind of, again, put it on probably the start, the top of the muzzle being at the bottom of the little command module for both sides. Like that. And now, this might be a little bit tricky. We're going to kind of pull down with our finger because the, the clay is really flexible, so you can just kind of pull it down uh, until maybe about halfway at the bottom of kind of the head because this kind of does wrap around Fox's head. And now the other difficult part is doing that for the top, but we'll just pull a little bit and kind of push up like that. And that actually created some really nice uh, depth for our kind of 64-bit style. So, again, kind of a happy accident. Props for happy accidents. So, uh, we got that so far. I think I will add... Um, I think I'll add the eyes next. I'm afraid I'm going to do the nose and then have to play with the face a little bit more, so... We'll do the eyes. Really kind of thin piece that you just roll rather straight. I guess you could pinch one of the ends and kind of use your finger after you hold it and kind of push up to create kind of a thicker slope at one of the ends and then just shape it a little bit over like that. Make sure it's not too thick though because his eyebrows are thick at one end but not the other. Might pull a little bit of that off. And you're going to have to really use a good judge... Bleh. I kind of mumbled that. You're going to have to use good judgment here because you have to account for all the detail we put on already and the fact that he has two eyes. So you want to make sure you got enough room. I think putting it right there should be fine. Kind of play with the eyebrow on his head, but yeah, something like that. Let's do it again. It's one of the things I hate about clay models is you do something so good the first time and then you have to do it again because most clay models or most characters I sculpt and stuff have two eyes, two ears, and you know, all that kind of stuff, so it can get really tedious. And do the same thing. And then simply put it on at around the same kind of area as the first one. Again, we want to make this look as symmetrical as we can. So there's that. And now this actually does look really weird right now because we got to put the eyes on, but it, it does look really weird. So the eyes, I think this is going to be really easy. And another precautionary note is this yellow actually is kind of getting into the white and stuff. So again, be careful of that. All we're really going to do is make a circle and then flatten it at one end to create that half eye effect because um, the artwork kind of has, you know, Fox doesn't have, you know, his, his whole eye open. It's, some of it's covered by the eyebrow. So we'll do that. Stick it in there. Maybe make him look a little bit more mean. Not really, but just a little bit. And then we'll do it again. Need some more clay. So yeah, hopefully, I know I did say we were going to sculpt this in the 64 bit, and hopefully as we get kind of down the body, um, that's kind of when the polygonal shapes take shape, no pun intended, uh, a little bit better. Because the head, again, it kind of gets uh, difficult with all... With I don't know, kind of all the detail and trying to, you know, really shape it up. So, I'm trying to keep it the same size, same everything. Stick it down there, making sure we have the eyebrows and stuff right. And that's a pretty good head, I will say. I want to add the detail now because we are just about done, which is pretty good for only two parts. Usually it takes, I feel like, when I've done the Sonic ones and the Shadow and stuff, 
Uh, I feel like it's taken more than two parts to get the head done, but... Usually I overestimate the head and then heavily underestimate the body, but... Can't get this black open. So yeah, uh, I, I think... Are these... I don't want to say they're brown, because again, aside from the fact that my printer is kind of off with the colors, uh... Even if these are brown, I, I want to sculpt them in a black or just a more bold color so you'll be able to see them better. So the eyes, just little dots, and then you can kind of put them on to the white. I, I It's not sticking very well because I'm not pushing down too hard. One, you don't want to kind of push too hard and then smudge all the area we just worked on. And in case this doesn't look too good, I kind of want to be able to take it up and reshape it. So it takes a little practice. but you want to make sure the pupils aren't bleeding into the eyebrows and that they're kind of half open like that, you know, just like the eyes. You want to make it look good. We'll do that again. On the other side. Positioning them correctly. Just trying to be perfectionistic with this, like that. We're going to do the nose, which is kind of like a triangle, how we made the triangle, except it's a little bit more straight on the sides, a little bit more rounded. Maybe like that. I'm going to push the nose up a little bit. I think the nose should be pushed up a little bit, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I feel like the Star Fox 64 artwork at least has kind of like a a larger nose. Like that, it's pretty good. And it sticks out. Well, the muzzle does at least. And now finally, aside from the fact that <laughs> I feel the need to fix these eyes a little bit, I'm going to put the mouth. And he kind of has this long wraparound mouth. So it's definitely good, like I said, to kind of work from the larger shapes down to the smallest detail for each part. And this part being the head. So yeah, just roll out a really thin piece. It helps if you do this all in kind of one go and you don't run out of clay halfway when you're putting the mouth on. But start at one end. You want to kind of have it curve at just the right spot. But... Huh. Didn't really get that in the camera. I'm kind of working a little bit higher than I should be. Here, I'll show that again. All right, so I said you want to do this all in one go because you don't want to run out of um, your really thin piece of black halfway through because it's really hard to kind of connect right where you left off. But roll it really thin. Th thin enough so it doesn't look too thick, but not too thin where it looks, you know, too thin. <laughs> Turn Fox this way and just kind of start the mouth. I guess wherever you kind of see fit. But you want to make sure that it kind of curves with the muzzle. And you want to make sure that there's kind of a point right where the nose is. Because we don't want kind of a lopsided mouth. Then I'm just kind of do that. Make sure it's a little bit more even. Don't get any of those black pieces into the yellow. Again, sorry if I'm being a little bit too perfectionistic, but I just want it to look good. You can probably push it down a little bit just to make sure it's not going to come out. And there we go, there is our fox head, our completed fox head for this first part of the fox clay tutorial. So, yeah, there we go. In two parts, we got the head done. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we're going to move on to the body next after I clean up.